Another institution founded in the late 1800s to support state farming was the Stores Agricultural School, which was conceived at an 1880 Farmers' Convention in New Britain. In 1881, the General Assembly established the school on land donated by the Stores Brothers. Thirteen farm boys enrolled that first year. Women were first admitted in 1893. In 1933, Governor Wilbur Cross signed a bill designating the school as the Connecticut State College. In 1939, it became the University of Connecticut. For decades, Yukon's College of Agriculture curriculum emphasized educating the children of farm families who would return to the farm. Today, that curriculum has had to change with the times. We do not have many students that come to this college for an education to go back to a farm. The big areas of interest for our students are human nutrition, as dietitians, as, as researchers, as faculty and institutions, as corporate workers uh, in the food industry. Yukon's connection to agriculture goes beyond student education. The college manages the state cooperative extension system, established in 1914 by the federal government for the advancement of farming and well-being of farm families. Cooperative extension agents were trained to help farmers carry out their enterprise and do it by using the best known research information at the time. Along with that came the youth development program, the 4-H program that we still operate. After World War II, cooperative extension's programming expanded to be involved in community development, family-related issues, adult education in the inner cities and in the urban settings, in addition to the agricultural settings. The close historic relationship between Yukon and Connecticut agriculture can best be seen in how it helped the state's poultry industry to develop. In the 50s and 60s, really, poultry was the major agricultural industry here in Connecticut. We had the egg-laying business, and we also had a broiler business. There were small family farms, but many of them were started by immigrants. Yukon researchers helped farmers find the best breeder stock for egg production with an extensive testing program. The producers that had the best birds were the ones that were selling the birds to the public for the next year. Later on, we had broiler tests to find out which broilers are good. 